So my surprise competition is to Greg Brastrup and he wins um, a 5S 2200 graphene battery and some props and for being my 1000 subscriber. So today we're going to be doing a scratch build of the 1100 millimeter X class. So completely designed by myself and built by myself. So here we go and enjoy today's video. Hi and welcome to Wigan RC and a very exciting video today. We have decided um, to make a scratch build X class. So as you can see, I've already started, I couldn't wait, and we've just got a couple of four mil carbon plates there, held together with M4 screws, and then what I've done is, I've cut some 20, sorry, 30 centimeter square aluminium tube, and that's what you can see there, that I've co covered in red carbon wrap, and then I've pre-drilled holes and mounted some spare motors that I had lying around. They are SK3 um, turnergy motors. They produce 830 watts. So quite a powerful motor. I've got everything there. There are 4230 if I'm not mistaken. Let me just check. Uh, yep, 4240 size motor and quite a powerful magnet and so forth. So what I'm going to do is just simply run the ESCs down the arm, some wire down the arm and I'll then wire everything up to the board that I'm going to soft mount in the middle there. Taking out the arm here, if I just slide this out, what I've done is I've already heat shrank, sorry, heat shrank um, some 51 amp ESCs there and I've run run the wire down the carbon, sorry, down the um, aluminium tube. So that will make for a clean build. You won't see any of the wires. I'll do some amps testing anyway and I'll be getting current measurement from the board from through beta flight. So that's all good. So really exciting part of the build. I'm going to now do the rest of the ESCs and wire them up and run them down the tube before I choose which flight, flight controller I'm going to put in the middle and camera and so forth. So hold on tight. So I'm just soldering all of the motor wires so then I can put on all of the ESCs. I'm just going to prepare all of my ESCs. I've got the new TS100 soldering iron which has been great and I'm just going to tin and prepare all these pads. Hopefully this will improve some of my soldering skills because my soldering skills are terrible but good solder, good soldering iron definitely helps. I've just got my fan blowing there in the background just to make sure that these fumes don't kill me and motoring through just quickly on and off so that there's some nice solder joints. All the ESCs are ready so I'm just gonna solder these wires straight onto each pad. Just hold it there a bit longer. Okay. Next one. Just 
the only downfall of the TS100 is is that it only heats up to 400 degrees so it's not as quick at soldering as some Okay, come on, flow, flow, flow. Okay, so I'm just going to add some more solder to all of these. Let's try and knit it all up. That's okay. I'm definitely not a solder professional but I'll just go and do all the others and prepare them to put them in the arms. So as you can see here what I've done I've just applied some heat shrink around the wires so they're held together when they're in the arms and don't catch on anything so I'm just going to feed them through and put them right into the body like this one and then I will fasten them down with some double sided tape. I found a little cap that goes in the end and it fitted perfectly. This is the prototype so I've just done my best to try and work with what I've got. I've got an old rooster, um, 3D mounted SMA and crossfire mount there and I've just put on the top and I've put in all of these um, end caps just to stop the dirt and dust from going up there and I've mounted a GoPro mount right there so my GoPro will go in there and I've got a Fox here Falcor um, camera ready to go there so now I haven't buttoned this up yet so I can what I've done is I can just turn the top like that and inside you can see I've got a Matek and FC CTR in there and there is my VTX it's the 800 milliwatt TBS Unify I've done a, the little mod where you just solder the end to keep it from breaking off and then heat shrink it so that's all ready to go. I should have lengthened this wire a little bit longer just to allow a bit more um, tension relief but should be okay for now and all of the ESCs are connected and there. Found a neat little addition um, just a mount for the XT60 and that just so you can just plug straight into that and I've cut the slots for the battery loops around there and the only thing left to do now is to soft mount the motors so I'm going to soft mount these motors and then we're good so I'm going to quickly button this up and then come back to finish off. Okay, finally finished the build and buttoned everything up. Top plate is on. I've got my X-Class sticker on there. And there's the crossfire. I had to lengthen the VTX wire so that I could comfortably um, stick it to the top plate. And if I need to do any maintenance, just take out these screws undo the bolts and the top plate just slides off so yeah that's all done i was a little bit disappointed with the fact that these master air screws were supposed to come pre-balanced but putting them on my jubro prop balancer they were not balanced so as you can see i've got quite a lot of tape on this one and this blade was quite heavy so i had to balance out the blades Obviously that's going to cut down on the vibrations and 
yeah, we are ready for the maiden. So really excited. The fact that this bad bee is completely finished. And this was a scratch bill that I just basically made up as I went along. I have got the camera there. I've got the battery underneath. And there's a little compartment where the pad and the XD60 just slot straight in and we're ready to action. So I've, I've actually armed the quad, the batteries on. I've just got a 4S to test it. Let's see if these motors are all spinning the right way. And let's have a look. Oh yes. So the motors are all armed. Seems to be running smooth. Oh, that is great. This thing is gonna give me some serious experience with X-Class. Now, I'll put in the description um, some of the parts I used and the pits. I'm gonna try and find myself some good X-Class pits because this is not gonna be the normal type of pits you'd use for a five inch. So, and then we'll just go and see how we go with the vibration through the camera or if there's any, if I need to soft mount these motors or what else I need to do. Just for a quick size comparison, you can see the difference between my five inch rooster there and this X-Class. So very big difference in size between this and a normal five inch. Thanks for joining and this has been a great experience, a great build, and I'm now excited to build more of these big beasts. So we'll see how this maidens very, very soon. We're gonna see signing off. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment for the maiden.